Welcome to APM Training by Wisdom Trainings. Now let's see the difference between API level and Android ver version and as well as uh, we'll be updating the Android Studio. Right. Now if you open Android Studio, sorry. If you open Android Studio, you will be getting this icon. This is SDK Manager software development kit SDK manager for Android if you click on this first of all this is your SDK location find the place where actually Android SDK is installed okay if you go over here you will find many folders out of which build tools platform platform tools and tools these folders will be using a lot okay right now if you open studio now over here under SDK platforms tab there are different tabs over here SDK tools platforms you will see that Android version is mentioned the latest which is coming up right now just two day two three days back it came up are 10 is the Q version and all the versions of Android are mentioned over here in your uh, PC it will be shown as not installed fine now there is something known as API level over here okay the common man he t he talks in terms of versions of and version of Android on his phone as a developer the developers they talk in terms of API level whenever you make an application okay whenever you make an application that application targets some API levels say I make an application then the developer will say that fine I am targeting uh, API levels uh, like from 24 to 29 that means my application will work from API levels 24 to 29 that means from Android version 7 to 10 okay so this is meant by API level the developers they talk in terms of API levels now the thing is Android 4 the support has ended for Android 4 the support has ended and no manufacturer also like is making it fine mostly the phones are above 5 and above these days and selenium as a tool works above API level 17 not selenium I'm sorry Appium as a tool works above 17 17 and above Appium supports 17 and above API levels but 17 18 19 and even 20 are obsolete now Android 4 is gone 5 will also the support for 5 will also go away in this tutorial I have the phone with API level 20 uh, sorry phone with Android version 10 API level is for the application not the version of Android okay uh, my application works on API level 29, 28, 27. Okay, every application targets the API level. Alright, now please uh, install the version like you must be having Android with you. So I would suggest that install from 6 to 10 everything. Select this, click on apply and click on OK. It will take a lot of time, a lot of things will be downloaded and installation will be carried on and you update your Android studio okay with the latest SDKs and all everything alright now SDK platforms SDK platform has to be updated once SDK platform has been updated go to SDK tools alright and in SDK tools you will see lot of options in this please install the build tools okay don't do these installations parallelly both of them first do the platforms and then the tools maybe your Eclipse sorry not Eclipse Android Studio restarts as well fine also install Android emulator which can help you emulate the Android device okay and also the emula emulator accelerator so that the emulator works faster fine install the Android SDK platform tools Android SDK tools install both of them Google Play services and most importantly Google USB driver now what is Google USB driver when your phone gets connected to the PC it gets detected right sometimes the phone never gets detected 
so by installing USB driver Google USB driver you increase the chances of your phone to be detected but still if it is not being detected then you have to install the phone specific driver most of the Samsung phones they do that they get detected I have a OnePlus 7T OnePlus 7T <laughs> doesn't work with Google USB driver okay and also Google web driver for the automation purpose okay so install the SDK tools and the SDK platforms and update them basically alright now once you have done that that is installation of uh, Android and updating Android SDK you have to set some variables and paths your uh, Android studio will also restart fine now once you have done the installation just uh, go over here to the SDK path this is the SDK path right click on the project go to the properties and go to advanced system settings environment variables there will be a path variable edit it and add these three paths paths to platform tools tools and platforms you can add it from here okay under SDK platform tools tools and platforms in Windows 7 or Windows 8 you can go to the end put a semicolon and put all the three paths separated by a semicolon alright now open a command prompt not an existing one alright open a fresh command prompt because environment variables get loaded in the fresh command prompt and give the command Android if you get the message that Android command is deprecated that means Android is successfully configured in your machine alright now once Android is configured and everything is done let's see the trace view bat okay if you open your tools folder under SDK you should have traceview.bat file if you don't have this then in the download code option under the account traceview.bat file is present copy from there and paste it in the tools don't ignore this bat file because this will be important in uh, Android to detect your phone on the PC okay so without this even the APM commands won't work alright do, just don't ignore that many times it is not present so people have to copy it from the download code option after this how can you start and stop Android from command prompt although this is not required in Appium but you should be knowing it because very rarely you might need to restart Android in your machine okay to do that uh, go to the folder platform tools copy the path and go on that path on the command prompt and give the command well I have jotted all the commands which we will be using over here adb kill server fine if you give this command android will be stopped and if you give the command adb start server android would be started ok this is good the daemon started successfully so this is how you can start and stop Android now the next part we you have actually installed and configured app, app Android successfully the next part is installing the ADT Eclipse plugin and also installing Eclipse actually right Appium installation actually comes <laughs> way uh, in the end so there are lots of other things which have to be done right so in the next part let's take up ADT installation